Mattel set to hold a virtual Investor Day event that's happening today. Shareholders are eager to hear the company's outlook for the toy industry and uh, anything about the American Girl and Fisher Price brands, which an activist investor said last month should be candidates for a sale. Joining us right now is Enon Kreis, chairman and CEO of Mattel. We should also say I think Barbie is having a big birthday on on Saturday of this week, right, Enon? Yes, Andrew, great to see you again. And uh, it was a big year for Mattel. Uh, 2023 was really a milestone uh, moment for the company. Uh, not only we had this incredible success with the Barbie movie, we also extended our leadership in key toy categories with significant share gain and overall strength in our financial position. In fact, we achieved the strongest balance sheet we've had in years, uh, currently at investment grade rating, um, and uh, $700 million of free cash flow generation, more than two and a half times of the prior year. Uh, you also know that we recently announced a $1 billion share repurchase program and believe we are in an excellent position to continue to execute our strategy. So, Enon, you know, explain this then. Uh, Barrington Capital, as I just said at the top of this, uh, sent you a letter, I believe, on, March, on February 1st. Uh, suggesting that you sell the American Girl franchise, that you sell uh, Fisher Price. Um, I think that they are happy with certain things that are happening in the business, but less happy with other things. Uh, revenue uh, beating expectations, uh, earnings uh, were below expectations. How do you respond to that letter? What did you think when you first read that letter? Well, without commenting specifically on any uh, letter, uh, I can tell you that we always welcome uh, shareholder feedback and engage with our investors. As a company, as a leadership team, as a management team, we always evaluate our portfolio and position the company for long-term growth. As it relates to uh, Fisher Price and American Girl, both are very storied brands. American Girl is a valid asset within the Mattel portfolio with significant fan base and great product. We continue to optimize the retail footprint and consumer omnichannel experience. We saw sales trend improving in the fourth quarter. We opened a new boutique in Dallas and a flagship store in LA. We saw all three flagship stores achieve same store sales growth for the year. We announced a new American Girl movie in partnership with Paramount. We uh, uh, announced another collaboration with Disney, Princess and Frozen. And we're looking to move American Girl headquarter to Los Angeles to leverage our direct-to-consumer capabilities, uh, drive demand, and really benefit from this right. incredible expertise we have within the dollars category. Speak to, speak, I mean, look, the, my, my daughter is an, is an American Girl uh, aficionado. We've got a lot of American Girl dolls in our, in our home. But how important is that franchise for you? Clearly, you're investing in it. Um, and what is therefore then misunderstood to the extent it is misunderstood in the marketplace around American Girl, also Fisher Price, and 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 as a related to all of this is how important are all the franchises to each other to your ability to sell through various channels? Meaning, how easy is it for you to take one brand if you decided to sell it uh, to do so, and does that therefore impact other distribution deals? Well, you're asking the right question because we manage a portfolio. And within a portfolio, inevitably, there will be puts and takes. But the idea is that we are leveraging our capabilities in dolls, vehicles, and infant toddler preschool, where we are a global leader. And managing a portfolio within these categories gives us scale and uh, true expertise and capabilities to benefit from our size and, uh, and demand creation capabilities, supply chain, and a global commercial um, infrastructure that is second to none in the industry. The take, uh, the, it's fair, also fair to say that both American Girl and Fisher Price have been declining and have been uh, uh, performing uh, relatively, uh, not as well as Barbie, Hot Wheels, for example, right. and other brands. And as it relates to Fisher Price, it's a good example because when you look inside the category, which has been declining, Fisher Price score which is by far the largest part of the category, has been stable over the last six years. We have been proactively exiting underperforming parts of the business, uh, low margin business, which uh, drove much of the decline. And we believe we are positioning the brand and the category as a whole to grow and improve profitability. And we'll talk about it in more detail today at our investor presentation. But the point is, 
We are very proactively managing our portfolio and believe we have the capabilities, the scale and the expertise to achieve long-term growth and in, in margin improvement. Right. Real quick, just, just speak to the, the strength of the consumer right now and also margins and, and, how, and how, how are you being attacked by margins by some of the online retailers who are selling some of these products at very low margins relative to what you're seeing in the stores and how does that play for you? Yeah, for Mattel, we've been improving our margin. We actually had uh, uh, so margin improvement and expect to continue to do that in 2024 and 2020, 2020, uh, 2025. So we are, continuing to managing our balance sheet and our profit uh, 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 prof uh, profitability profile to continue to drive long-term growth. The industry, the industry declined 4% in 2023, uh, sorry, 7% in 2023. But it's mm -hmm. uh, after uh, record growth between 2019 and 2022, 25% growth between 2019 and, 20, uh, uh, and 2022. We did see a decline, but it's still 17% higher than pre-pandemic in 2019. So the industry is healthy. Notwithstanding the decline, we expect it to return to growth uh, in 2025 and continue to grow thereafter.